A servant of God, I am Robert Simon. Beloved in Christ, loving greetings. Genesis chapter 17. Abraham was 99. Then when God promised Abraham about Isaac through Sarah his wife, Abraham was not really ready to buy God's promise at another time. Abraham laughed and said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. Abraham was staggering in his faith. His response was based on his own reasonings. In chapters 18, 19 and 20 of Genesis, we read other subplots in Abraham's life story. In chapter 21, verses 1 and 2 we read, The Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had promised. And Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the time of which God had spoken to him. Now what had happened? In Genesis 18.14, the Lord was telling Abraham and Sarah, Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. What a glorious, assertive and affirmative words of the Lord. Faith again started its operation in Abraham's life and also as well in Sarah's life. Now we shall go to Romans chapter 4 and we shall read from verse 17 to 25. Abraham believed even God who quickened the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Abraham started believing in God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were, who against hope believed in hope. Abraham was able to believe in hope against hope. Why? That he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. It means he has lost his potency. Earlier he had potency, he was able to bring a son to Hagar. Now he lost his potency. And he didn't consider that when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Sarah was already barren, but now she lost her womanhood also. He didn't consider that also. Verse 20. He staggered not at the promise of God. Earlier, he was staggering at the promise of God. Now, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Why are we staggering at the promise of God? Because of our unbelief but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. It is not exactly he was strong in faith. He became strong. He regained his potency by faith. The miracle is that. He regained his potency by faith. By faith, Sarah regained her womanhood in giving glory to God. They started giving glory to God. God can do all things. So they were giving glory to God, they are praising God. Thereby they were able to regain their potency and their womanhood. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, what God had promised, God was able also to perform. And therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now please listen. Now it was not written for his sake alone. Now it was not written for his sake alone, that it was imputed to him. Verse 24, But for us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Not only the Lord who gave potency to Abraham, or who gave womanhood to Sarah, this Lord God raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. 
so we believe in that god glorious faith victorious faith i god willing will meet you in my next talk till then god bless you god be with you i am yours robert simon